Okay, this is what a vernal or ephemeral pool looks like during the summer. Um, you're going to see areas of bare leaf litter without much, if any, herbaceous vegetation. Um, you might see some open canopy and wetland plants growing either along the edges or actually in the area. Uh, you're going to see things that look like they were recently wet because this area holds water. And then you're going to see you can quickly see a shift in habitat as you exit the basin of the vernal pool. And you can kind of follow along and try to infer what areas hold water and what areas don't. It's fairly obvious when, uh, when you've seen a couple of them and, and you look around and you make some inferences based on the surrounding habitat. And these are important for amphibians, mostly, um, because they don't hold fish, because they dry out and fish don't breathe air. What happens is amphibians will come in and they'll lay their eggs. The eggs will quickly develop in a period of sometimes six to eight weeks even. And they will um, develop quicker as the water level drops. And this allows them to live in shallow, permanent, uh, semi-permanent, or blah, shallow, non-permanent bodies of water that other aquatic or organisms can't persist in because amphibians, most species of course, transform from that aquatic stage to the terrestrial stage. And this is an adaptation that allows them to persist in otherwise terrestrial habitats, unlike their uh, ancient relatives, the fish. This is a vernal pool at Ryerson Conservation Area in Lake County.